the benefits of drawing dice with long reduction cone and forced lubrication. We're talking about the drawing process and how to maximize the results. Briefly, what is drawing? Drawing is a metalworking process using tensile force to stretch the metal thinner into a desired shape and thickness. The image refers to bar drawing, but in fact bar, tube and wire drawing all work upon the same principle. The material is drawn through a die to reduce the diameter and increase the length. Two forces come into play. The drawing force to be applied against the tensile strength of the material. It's easily understandable. The force we apply can't be bigger than the resistance to traction of the material. Otherwise the wire, for instance, could break and the drawing die could be damaged too. Reducing the coefficient of friction and the heat too is crucial for the whole production process to maintain the end quality of the product. The coefficient of friction, or COF, is often symbolized by this Greek letter. Now let's stop for a moment and talk about system thinking. System thinking is understanding the bigger picture by seeing the elements, evaluating their interactions and appreciating causes and effects of these dynamics. What does this mean for us? We have to think as a whole. We have to use the best technology on the market and avoid distortions in the process that can be concealed with spot interventions on some parameters, but that don't consider the whole vision of the process. How do we do it? In our opinion, we have to start from the drawing die. What is a drawing die? The material to draw must be forced to pass through a reduction tool. That's called drawing die. The hole must be constructed with a geometric profile suitable for a homogeneous plastic deformation. These are the basic elements of a drawing die. An entrance or bell is the opening at the top of the die. Then there's the reduction area where the metal is plastically deformed as it is pulled through the hole. The third element is the bearing portion. The last one is called exit or back relief. This area has the purpose to ensure a smooth transition as the material exits the die. The geometry of a drawing die is almost like a tailor-made suit. The proper die has to be chosen according to the type of material being drawn, for instance hard or soft wire, the final application of the material, the desired elongation and the desired drawing speed. Now, let's go back for a moment. We were talking about friction. Where does friction take place? Mainly in the reduction zone. At first, by abrasion at the point at which the incoming wire contacts the die. Initially, the die surface will only show small signs of wear. Then, as friction continues, a typical wear or drawing ring will appear. The image shows in a clear way the comparison between a new die and a worn die. Of course, such a worn drawing tool must be withdrawn for refurbishment to avoid cracks that can develop if not cold in time. What can be done to reduce die wear? The image we're showing is the one of a drawing die with a long reduction cone. You can easily see, when thinking about this image and the previous one, that the longer reduction cone with a minor inclination does not favor die wear, it reduces die wear. And what are the advantages of having less die wear? For sure, a longer die life. Then, lower machine stops due to minor breaks and also lower management costs because there are going to be less die changes. Now let's take a step back. The name of this man was Giovanni Battista Venturi. He died in 1822, but his intuitions are still valid and useful today, also for the drawing professionals. Venturi was an Italian man of letters and scientist mainly known as the discoverer of the famous Venturi effect. A fluid flowing through a constricted section of a tube undergoes a decrease in pressure. As the fluid flows through the constriction, the fluid molecules speed up. This image on the left is a perfect representation of the Venturi effect. It shows the flow of material through a Venturi tube. As the fluid goes through the constriction, it speeds up and the pressure drops. The blue color indicates pressure, with darker blue meaning high pressure and lighter color meaning low pressure. Now, how does this apply to what we said about drawing dies? The greater length of the reduction cone in a drawing die favors a good Venturi effect and this allows to create an optimal lubricating film. This is what we call forced lubrication. Let's add a step. If you use a pressure die, you will increase lubricant pressure and also drawing speed, resulting in a greater intake of lubricant. 
This solution also offers the possibility to draw with less effort, meaning therefore less energy consumption. In 1976, the founder of the company Vassena SRL, Giuseppe Vassena, was the first one to apply the Venturi effect on drawing dies. Anticipating the times with formidable intuition, he revolutionized the whole drawing process. Here's what happens if you take a pressure die and a die with a long reduction cone. This is the result. You have a Vassena VG402R.1 plus a nib type L with a long reduction area. The double compression chamber enables a barrel lubrication also at low speeds. Having a fixed and unmovable nib, you have no vibrations and therefore less breakages. This solution is well sized depending on the type of material and wire diameter, thus allowing a longer duration. These are the advantages by using such a combination. A better coverage of the lubricant on the wire, a longer die life, higher drawing speeds, less friction and less energy consumption. This is the theory. Now, what happens if we put the theory to the test? We performed following drawing tests with two types of dies having comparable parameters. A Vassena type L die, so a drawing die with long reduction cone, with following specifications, and a standard round die, a Vassena type NOR die, with the specifications you can see here. We carried out the tests on a straight drawing machine working carbon steel wire, patented and galvanized. The wire diameter was 1.2 millimeters. These are the results of the tests. A drawing die with long reduction cone achieves a higher drawing speed, 12 against 8, and requires less dies replacements. Drawing with dies type L resulted in a better end quality because of the minor stress during the process. All in all, the practical tests confirmed our theoretical calculations. This is what happens if we analyze the cost-benefit curve. The blue line describes the performances of the standard round die, whereas the red line represents the die with long reduction cone. On the horizontal axis, we can see the tons of drawn wire, on the vertical axis, the costs in euro. In short, the higher purchase cost of the drawing die type L is amortized very soon after drawing 5 tons of wire. Here you can see the break-even point. This is definitely due to the lower operating costs. So the cost-benefit analysis is rather self-evident. For wet drawing, there is the possibility of using tungsten carbide 1949 for maximum protection against corrosion, friction and wear. In this slide, you can see the features and benefits of using this very high performance material. As regards dry drawing, tungsten carbide 1938 is available, which increases the duration of the dye up to five times compared to standard grades. Here you can see the properties of 1938, a material with a superior hardness, resistance to friction and corrosion. In conclusion, we saw that the use of a drawing die with a correct geometry can help in obtaining a stable and high performance drawing process, avoiding further unnecessary processing and problems like wire cleaning. This is to return to the initial concept, system thinking. It's better to consider the process as a whole, use the best available technology and avoid spot interventions. Compared to a traditional drawing die, one with long reduction cone offers technical advantages like durability, reliability and a better and quality, and economic benefits, lower management costs and energy consumption. This is all. Thank you for your kind attention. More information about Vassena's broad production range can be found on the corporate website www.vassena.it.